Hey everyone, today I'm going to be taking you through a really basic um, 3D setup. This is for beginners, like for people just starting with 3D. It's really, really simple. Okay. So, start off with, um, you're going to want to make two backgrounds. And what backgrounds you use for in 3D are the um, textures. So, this is my floor texture here, so it's just a 64 by 64 background, the um, default when you create a new one. Um, as you can see, I've just drawn a box and put a cross to it, colored it red. So, really, really simple. Um, once you've done that, you need to come down here into the background settings and tick used for 3D. Must be power of 2. Keep that in mind if you're ever making bigger um, textures. Okay, um, normally I'd call a background something like BCK floor, but because it's a texture, I've called it TEX floor. Okay, um, then I've got a texture for a block. So in the 3D game, um, we're going to be drawing a um, just a 3D cube to get you into the whole drawing 3D objects thing. But yeah, there's just another square with another cost or color it differently. And once again, that is useful 3D. And okay, that's done. So once we've got um, two textures, we can like we're done with backgrounds, and we can start making some objects. So to start off by creating three objects, one to be called OBJ Cam, OBJ Floor, and OBJ Block. OBJ Cam is um, standing for Object Camera. And this is what we're going to be using to view our 3D world. So, first thing when starting um, 3D is D3D start. Okay, so that starts um, 3D mode in Game Maker. So without calling that, none of your 3D stuff is going to work. Alright, um, just here you can see draw set color and see what. If you leave it as C black, all your textures are going to be drawn like just as a plain black color. You don't want that. So you set it to C white, so your textures are drawn properly to what you um, want them to be drawn to. Um, texture set repeat and true. This allows us to um, have textures loop over um, our models and stuff. So say I had a floor that was like the same um, width and height as your room. So let's say like 600 by 400, and your texture was only like 64 pixels, then you can loop that texture across the floor so that it um, doesn't stretch out and get all pixel. And yeah, that, that's what texture set repeat allows you to do. Um, Z equals 200. In 3D, for those of you that don't know, there isn't just your X and Y axis. 3D adds the extra axis. Um, hence the um, whole 3D, so 2D games is X and Y, 3D games is X, Y, and Z. Um, yeah, but Z in Game Maker is up and down. In other programs, for example Unity, Y would be up and down, and then you'd have X and Z as your um, horizontal and vertical axis. But um, yeah, in Game Maker, Z is up and down. And then we've just got speed equals 8 so that we can move the camera around. Okay, so that's all our create event code, nice and simple. Alright, then the step event. This is just um, for being able to move the camera. So it's just if keyboard check, VK right, X plus equals equals speed. If keyboard check, VK left, X minus equals speed. If keyboard check, VK up. Y minus equals speed and keyboard check VK down Y plus equals speed. Okay, that's done there. And now in the draw event, D3D set projection X, Y, Z, object block dot X, object block dot Y, 0, 0, 0, and 1. Alright, now I'm going to take you through these arguments and tell you what they actually are. Alright, so X, Y, and Z is the position from where the view is like looking. So in this case, it's the camera object's position. So the camera object's X and Y position, and the camera object's Z, which is 200. So that's 200 pixels in the air off 
um, the ground, and then just hit X and Y position. Right, um, object block dot X and object block dot Y. That's what the view is facing. So, assuming that you created the three objects when I told you to before, you'd already have that object. So yeah, um, that's just the object block X position and the object box Y position, and then after that you've also got Z2, which is just the like height in which you want the camera to be looking. So in this case, it's zero, which is where our floor is going to be positioned. Okay, um, and then we've got three more arguments. Um, X up, Y up, and Z up. Now what this is, is the um, camera's upward facing axis. So X up, setting that to 1 would mean that uh, the camera would like, the, the top of the camera would be facing to the right. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. Um, y up would mean the top of the camera would be facing like up on the Y, and Z up is the top of the camera is facing up on the Z axis. So, um, 0 for X up, 0 for Y up, and 1 for Z up. Um, if you're creating, say, a 3D platformer and you're using the default gravity variable, like you were just using the whole Y axis gravity and everything, then you would set um, Y up to minus 1 so that the top of the camera is facing up. Like along the y axis, and then you'd have Z up as 0 so that it's not facing up on that. But yeah, in this case, it's just got Z up as 1. Right, um, set the depth for the camera to um, 999 or just 9. Doesn't really matter, I set mine too high. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, okay, so that's our camera done, and now our floor. Alright, text equals background get texture text floor. Um, background get texture is pretty self explanatory. Um, sorry, explanatory. It um, gets the texture from our floor background, which is called text floor. And then we're just saving that in the variable t a x. Alright, um, then the draw event for object floor is d3d draw floor. Alright. Um, first three arguments is X, Y, and Z. Now basically what we're doing is we are making a big rectangle um, across the screen. So, the first two points of the rectangle is 0 and 0 for the top um, left of the room. Um, and then 0 for the Z. Um, mainly because 0 is going to be like the bottom of the whole game level kind of thing, so it'll be where the floor's positioned. Um, so our camera will be 200 above the floor, 200 pixels above the floor. Right, um, then our second X and second Y is just room width and room height, so that if we decide to have a bigger room, then the floor gets extended as well. And then zero again for the um, second height, because we don't want it on a slope. Right, um, then for our texture, or text ID it says, um, just our text variable which we made in the create event and then the last two is hate repeat and v repeat and that's the um, that's how many times the texture we're drawing to it will be repeated so I've just set those to 12 okay um, we're done with that as well and now just for our object block alright once again text equals background get texture except this time it's text block um, because we're getting a different texture and then in our draw event we have d3d draw block it's a lot like draw floor it's pretty much the same arguments except it's just a different way of doing it okay x1 y1 and z1 so for x1 we have x minus 16 for y1 we have y minus 16 and for our z1 we have 32 okay so then for our x2, y2, and z2, we have x plus 16 for x2, y2 is y plus 16, and then z2 is 0. Okay, so basically, what we're doing here is 
um, we're going from our X position, we're taking it back 16 pixels from that position to get the first X. From our Y position, we're going up 16 pixels to get our first Y, and then our Z is 32, um, that's how high the block will be, so it's 32 pixels tall. Then for our second Y position, we're going from our X and we're going 16 pixels ahead of it. Um, y is again 16 pixels ahead and then texture, um, no, no, texture, our Z2 is 0. So that is the bottom of the cube and that's the same height as the floor. So because we're going minus 16 and plus 16, uh, 16 plus 16 is 32, so it's just going to be 32 times 32 cube. Alright, um, then for our texture, it's just text, and then um, the repeat values is 1 and 1. You can change those if you want, but it's not necessary. And that's it, pretty much. Um, okay, in our room, I've changed the background color to black. And for objects, you just want to add your objects in. So if my block is around the center of the um, room. Then got my camera object which is going to be viewing the world and then I've got the object floor okay and that's it so now if you've got all that right you can just hit run and you should have a working 3D game and there you go so as you can see we've got our floor with its um, loop texture and we've got a block here using the arrow keys I can move the camera around and move the block from different angles so as you can see the um, floor is just a big rectangle which is the same um, height and width as the room and then you can just see the um, 32 by 32 block in there but yeah that's how that's like a really simple 3D setup um, mainly for beginners like that haven't done it before um, as you can see it's not hard to do in Game Maker and don't go thinking that Game Maker's 3D is like really basic and you can't do a lot with it. You can do a hell of a lot with it. Like there's been some pretty good first person shooters made with it, third person shooters, it's just so much you can do with Game Maker. Alright, um hope you enjoyed it. Uh please like the Facebook page, um show your support. Uh like the video if this tutorial has helped you, it lets me know like um, if you're liking the videos or not, you know, um, the more likes I get, the more videos I'll put out, like, how often I'll do it. It's been a while, actually, since I've uploaded the video. Sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, like the, um, Facebook page, uh, subscribe if you want more, like the, um, video, and see you guys next time.